Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today to see what has been going on with me lately. So, um, I did put out the odd video here and there, about a um, couple recipes and a few different ways I was trying to get back on track. And it's not working. So, I've got to come up with something else because I'm not a quitter and I can't quit, right? So, we have a goal to make, we got to get to it. Uh, and everyone out there that was with me for uh, quite some time, and that stayed on your journey and continued and is doing great, I applaud you. And hopefully I'm going to catch up with you soon and be on the right track. I just find the last few months I have feel like I've lost myself and that's to do with personal reasons and uh, just pretty much like with uh, um, not working right now and home with the kids doing homeschool and um, just that's just how it goes, right? We have our own stuff. We have our own uh, things we're going through and um, that's where I'm at with that right now and that just seems to be taking over from me concentrating on what I was concentrating on and doing so well with when I just wasn't stressed. So stress is a huge thing. Stress is huge for me. We all eat for different reasons. I totally love to sabotage myself when I feel um, like I don't know what I'm doing. And it's not that I'm in some kind of bad spot, you know, or in life or anything. I'm blessed. I'm very thankful for everything I have and everyone that's in my life. But we all still, no matter what, have our own have our own thing that stops us from, you know, doing things we want to or or you know, doing things we don't want to even. So with that, I'm going to start again from today but I did realize going back with some of my videos and even like a couple of years ago when I did lose a significant amount of weight which I have kept off but what's scaring me right now is I never ever ever wanted to see the 200s again I just promised myself this um, I'm sure many of us have done that you guys I'm sure have been there too or you're getting there or maybe you've never been there and you don't know what it's like and it's it's horrible to be in that position it's such hard work to get to your goal or where you want to be or to be in a place in your life where um, you just feel good right and you want to stay there but the problem is once you've I guess cross that line uh, if you've been overweight uh, you just once you've been like significantly overweight you will always have either an eating problem um, dieting um, trying to stay below the weight that you want or even just in that comfortable zone where you can go up and down a little bit it's really difficult so I know lots of you totally know what I'm saying when I talk about that. So I have totally fell off the wagon and I'm trying to get back on. And the last few months I've tried going back to like, you know, my ADF or my OMAD and other things that have worked. But the problem is they're not working anymore. So, or it's me that's not working them anymore, right? It's not the diet that doesn't work. It's if you're not working it and it's, I'm not being able to do those anymore. It's just not for me right now. So I'm trying to figure this out because as I'm not doing well at trying these other diets that I'm used to doing, I'm getting into a rut and I'm gaining so because I'm stressed every day waking up again what am I going to do what diet am I doing how am I how am I getting there how am I how many how am I staying there so I know lots of you know that feeling you wake up and it's not the thing you want to think about every day that's what I'm so tired of so I need to get back down and stay down and keep going because I'm not happy 
so this is by far right now been horrible with just waking up every day trying to think about what I'm doing and I don't want to I have many other things that I want to think about in my life and you know my, my kids and Christmas is coming and all kinds of things family everything and me doing other things to make me happy not constantly waking up and worrying about my weight and I'm not happy so day one again today there's many day ones I'm hoping it'll be the last day one but we have many day ones so again day one today but what I'm going to be doing is I found that when I was vlogging daily about just even quick vlogs like if it was only some of them were like three minutes long and it was just how I felt what I did a little bit what I ate um, what I was making what new and how I was how my weight was going so I'm going to start doing that again and I'm going to see if that's going to be what's going to keep me in check keep me accountable again and keep me going just whether people are listening or not I, maybe I'm just talking to myself that's okay it gives me time to sit here and reflect and talk to myself then and let me know that um, I got to do this so I can look back on this and and every day and then tell myself I got to do this or what I'm doing and what's right what's wrong what's working what isn't so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to not make a plan where I'm saying okay ADF it is or OMAD it is or um, whatever right like I am I am a true believer in fasting if you've seen my other videos absolutely from years ago it's saved me when I was ill it's helped me lose um, already like over 60 pounds, um, which I'm slowly now gaining back. So this is where I have to stop and slow down. And uh, I have to go back to doing my exercises daily, not because of for weight or anything else. It was just made me feel good. And I have certain things I've just like, they've just like fallen right off for me to do daily. So that has to change. So that's a few of the things here that I'm hoping just these little tweaks is all it's going to take to get back on track and feeling good again because that's that's a main thing feeling good feeling good about yourself waking up and and uh, loving yourself right so um, I'm going to give myself more or less like a calorie diet this time just kind of basic like anyone does if you went to any doctor this is what they're telling you just count your calories I'm gonna start with that that's all I'm doing so this is just day one of my journey to feel better and to lose weight it's not gonna be a journey or a weight loss journey about which diet I'm doing and what works and what tricks work and everything else there still might be some of that in between but I'm not going to make it that to make myself stick to that that's what I'm not going to do is box myself into one thing that I have to do every day and stick to it I'm just going to see what works for me and daily go from there and see what's working and what isn't and then hopefully I'm just going to fall into what works and it will the weight will start coming off again so I'm going to give myself 1200 calories or less because I do need to lose weight. So um, 1200 calories or less, that's what I'm doing. And I'm not going to totally restrict myself. I know from doing keto and diets and everything for like a million years already, I know what's good, I know what, and I know what isn't. So that's just using my common sense. I'm sure the odd day I'm gonna have something maybe I'm not supposed to, but this is where I'm going to try and figure out that happy medium of what I should be doing to make it sustainable, to make it as a lifestyle, and to still lose the weight. So I'm used to losing very fast. That's what I do. I like to do all kinds of different fasting methods so that I lose weight rapidly. And although it's worked in the past, that could be what's wrong right now is that's just not for me right now. Uh, and not the long-term way to go clearly because obviously I keep you know you stop doing a fast I'm doing good if I don't continue into another fast I start gaining and that's what happened here where 
other things in life were going on where I couldn't concentrate on just my weight loss and it's now backfiring on me. So it's just going to be, I'm going to count my calories uh, using an app uh, on the phone. I'll let you guys know which one I choose. I always use the Lose It app, so I'll probably just stick to that anyway. It's the same thing I've always used. I like it. I'm not going to totally count all my macros, um, but I did today. <laughs> so old habits uh, die hard. So today I did have two coffees with my collagen. Um, I had some sausages, some eggs, and I had a Coke Zero. That's what I had today. That's it. So it's approximately 52 grams of protein, 13 carbs, 46 fat. So normally that would be like totally right off the map of doesn't even make sense what I was, what I'm having kind of, but that's what it is. That's all I'm eating today. That was around 750 calories. I know I should probably eat a little bit more, but I'm not going to stress over it. I ate, I'm full. I'm satisfied. That's it for today. And then I'll just see what happens tomorrow, right? So that's how it's going to go. So I hope some of this makes sense. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're in the same boat uh, or if you've been doing this kind of thing or um, just in general, like what's, what's going on. So that's what's going on with me and that's what I'm going to try. And uh, I hope you will come along with me and we can do this together. Otherwise, I'm on my own, and that's okay. So let's uh, see what time will tell. And like I said, it's just I'm going day by day. So starting today again, day number one for the millionth time, but I'm not giving up. And uh, that's about it. I will, um, again, you will see me tomorrow if you check in daily vlogs again that's what it's going to be people because i think accountability is what is totally a huge thing for me and um that's what i'm going to do anyways thanks for listening guys and i will see you tomorrow